Warning, in this video, I say fuck, bitch, ass, shit, like, a good amount of time, so if you don't like that, then don't say those words either, or if you, like, don't like hearing other people say that, then this video might not be for you, so yeah, th thank you, I guess, um, hi. Every time I scroll down Facebook, there's always that weeb sharing something Japan related and it's usually some sensationalized video about Japan that tries to put America to shame. Like shit, not even the people I grew up with in Japan share that much stuff about the country. And of course, I either get tagged in those videos by my stateside friends and they ask me, Is this true? I've made a handful of videos and songs about me growing up in Japan cause honestly it was the only thing I could do back then that made me stand out. Still, check them out please. And because of that, it became a blessing and a curse. People started to refer to me as that guy from Japan, but then that's all I became known for. I have no one to blame but myself. So fuck it, here's another video about Japan. I think American people worship Japanese school too much. They simply look at their own country's school system and then look at Japan's and see how much shit theirs is. I can understand that to an agree cause one of the worst things about finishing high school in the US was the fact that even though I was placed in a fucking AP honors English class, whenever we had to take turns reading a book, there was always that one kid who would take three fucking years to read a paragraph while using his fingers to follow under each word. The worst groups in American high school were the weeaboos and the otakus, who think they know so much about Japan despite that they've never been there, they will try to educate you about how life in Japan is, like they borderline fetishized the culture. The school I graduated from was so underfunded, there were some textbooks that couldn't even be assigned to us because it was in short supply. We used to have to share a book and it was so outdated, I think one geography book still recognized Yugoslavia as a nation. Not to mention some teachers, if you want to call them that, just did not want to teach. My favorite subject was always in the social sciences. I love geography and history. This fucko would just write on the board and tell you what to read, then tell you to answer the questions from the book. We wouldn't even go over the answers. He'll just tell you, turn it in at the end of class, and you'll get credit regardless if your answer was correct or not. My global teacher, Mr. Henderson, wouldn't have done that shit. But yeah, this was just a mini rant to show that, of course, the American school system isn't perfect either. Okay, here's why I did not like going to school in Japan. So I first attended an English speaking school in Japan. I was there from kindergarten to the end of third grade. From there was when I started going to a Japanese speaking school and my god! Apart from my 11th and 12th grade years, 4th to 8th grade would be one of the worst times of my life, like ever. To begin, my elementary school was old and was small as fuck. Each grade only had like two classes so everyone knew each other. We didn't have a pool, so when swimming was part of the curriculum, we had to walk over two kilometers to this, I guess, condo, plaza type place and use their pool. The kids were dickheads and the teachers wouldn't do anything about it, especially if you were that kid that made the teacher laugh all the time. You basically had the privilege to do whatever you want to whoever you want. Who cares? You're adorable. Fifth grade, this kid who was the same skin complexion as me, he was like really tan for someone who was full Japanese, made fun of my skin tone. He went and on and on and on for like a good 10 minutes, not even roasting me, just simply bringing up that my skin is dark and the teacher obviously knew what was going on since we were sitting in front, but that bitch continued to ignore what was going on. Luckily, I did get my revenge by throwing that kid's backpack out the window and I stole a lot of my teacher's pens. Fucking bitch, that's why you got divorced twice. All right, now middle school. Middle school was fucking shit, like, not, not just shit, it was fucking unko. It was right next to my elementary school, so that should tell you something. Like, this bitch had so many rules, it didn't make any sense at all, bro. One rule was that we couldn't stop at a konbini on the way back home. Like, we would have to drop our things off at home first, and then we can go to the konbini. Like, what's the purpose of that? If I'm hungry, I'm getting me a meronpan and an Aquarius. It's my money. Don't tell me when to use my money. Also, school's over. Don't give us rules outside of the campus. But only lame asses followed that rule, though. There were these groups of kids who referred to themselves as Yankee. These wannabe tryhards always sag their uniform pants to make them look baggy. They would be loud for no reason, and to look tough, they would humiliate the weakest looking kids in the class. And of course, one of them was me. Funny thing is, they would make fun of my American heritage, or just the simple fact that I was mixed. While outside of school, they wore brands like Tim's, Jordan's, 
Ralph Lauren, and listened to a lot of terrible Japanese rappers whose English skills were weaker than Hideki Tojo's hairline. But yeah, most of these wannabe tough kids only acted big when they were in groups. What's weird is they were all bougie ass kids. Their parents owned businesses around the city. Like one dude's dad owned a whole high rise building, yet he's fucking acting like he had a tough upbringing. Oh, and the teachers? Bad fucking hygiene. Whenever one would come to you, like kneel down to assist you with if you were having problems with your work. Dude, their fucking breath, like, they smelled like 30 cans of get the fuck away from me. So towards the end of every quarter, we would have these standardized tests that were fucking hell. Most of the stuffs weren't even taught to us because the teachers were too busy. I don't know, trying to find more rules to restrict our freedom? The only good that came out of it was, uh, three consecutive half days. But going through test after test after test after test, you just feel like giving up the whole time. And yeah, we have to take these things seriously or else it's gonna haunt us when we want to go to high school. Yeah, attending a regular high school in Japan is a privilege. You have to earn it through standardized testing. whoop de freaking do And you're probably wondering, what's wrong with that? Well, here's the thing, the system, it's too strict. Anyone who did get good grades and ended up going to a good high school had the personality of a maid cafe hat. Never questioning anything, even if he or she disagreed. Like, no individualism whatsoever. What's the point of being smart, quote unquote smart, if you're dull as a person and have zero opinions on anything? It's like the education system forces every kid to learn the same way. We're never told to appreciate who we are as a person, but instead gotta conform to the norms of society. They would tell us what is wrong and what is right, but the thing they're telling us that's wrong or right is more of a subjective thing. The only time we get to really express ourselves as a person is the first day of school. You have to call every upperclassman senpai while kissing the ass just because they're older than you. You have to show them respect even though that shit gotta be earned. Some students feel the need to win senpai's approval just to feel any value. The upperclassmen sometimes abuse that power to manipulate, you know, the lower classmen. So ask yourself, why should senpai notice you? We're even graded by how we organize our notes. If the teacher doesn't like your study strategy, despite the fact that it works for you, you get a bad grade. One misconception about Japanese school is that we attend six days out of the week. That may be true for some schools, but not for the ones I went to. There was that one day in the school year where we had class on a Saturday, but it was optional. And even so, we had the Sunday and Monday off. Same goes for when we would have a school event on a Saturday like a taiki site. But by far, the worst thing about Japanese school was... Summer vacation. Okay, I didn't get along with anyone at my school. All my real friends attended the English speaking school, which functioned like an American school because all the students were children of US military guys. I envied that school so much because they would not only start their summer break before we did, but theirs would end long after ours ended. We were only off school for exactly eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks isn't even two months, but that's not the worst part. We had fucking homework. Like, what's the point of taking a break from school if you still gotta do work? Do they think that we're gonna go dumb in the span of eight weeks? The teachers will give you some thick fucking packets that are impossible to finish in a few days. So yeah, you can't fully enjoy your time out of school because homework has consumed your whole life. But yeah, these were things I didn't like about going to school in Japan. This doesn't mean that I hate Japan, you know? It's gonna be my home forever, it was just to tell you about my experiences being from there. If you like this video and you want me to do more of these, please subscribe or become a patron at my Patreon, which is in the description down below. Thank you.